I'm now going to go through how you would make the exploded view for use in the exploded drawing uh, as well as doing the animation. So the first thing we need to do is open an inventor presentation file and in here you only have a couple of options so create view and what it will do is it will open at the moment anything you've got open so you can see I've got the assembly open so it's open that. You can go to Windows Explorer and open a different file. Just so you are aware you can for very simple things there's an automatic explosion here where you put a distance in in millimeters and it will explode every component by that. Um, but of course this is this is not that simple part so we're going to use manual. If you press OK you can then see it just puts this elbow engine in. And what you can do is you can move it around the same as everything else and then the only options up here you have are animate which we'll get to at the end, precise view rotation which basically allows you to use all these functions in different increments to manipulate this but we're going to just use the view cube uh, and free pan. And the other one, which is the one we're going to use now, is Tweak Components, or T, on the keyboard. And what this allows you to do is actually manipulate all the different components. So what we're going to do, and again, don't worry about the views because we're going to set this up at the end. So we're just going to start tweaking the components. So what you can do is, in your view here, you can expand this to see all the different items. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them first. So I'll basically I'm going to pull out all of these screws that are in the bottom. So again, press T to tweak. So then, at the moment, components, it's happy. Um, and the next thing it's asking for is direction. So you can use anything as a basis for the direction. So I'm just going to click on this face, and you can see that in the Z direction, which is the blue one that's highlighted, and it's highlighted up here, is the way we want to go. So I'm going to just, you can then click and drag pretty much anywhere on the screen. And you can see it starts to pull those out, and it gives you here the amount you pulled it out by. So at the moment it's 89. Uh, I'm just going to turn that into, say, let's see if 100 will do it. And then tick that will apply it. I'm just going to just go back to the original view just to see if that's cleared it. So you can see that now what I'm trying to do is make sure no component is overlapping so we can see all of them at once. Uh, you can see there that we can clearly see all four screws so that's good. So we've clicked tick for apply and then what I'm also going to do is close that uh, and I'm going to do, because these are screws of course they're not just coming out they're also turning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do tweak components again and this time I haven't selected one in the browser just to show you the other way. So the first thing for um, direction. And what I'm going to do is, if you click on a circumferential face like this, it will put it dead, dead center. So that Z axis is running up the axis of the screw. Uh, the components I wish to spin around that axis is just this one screw, of course, because all the others you need to set around a different axis. I'm going to change it to this button here, uh, and I'm going to change that to say 2160, which will give us six full rotations. Uh, and then I'm going to press tick. And then what we need to do is do that again for every single one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So again for direction, and then change this. And 2160 is in there. And the component I wish to do is this one. Apply that. Close. And you can see if I expand these down here, you can see it starts to add those tweaks. So that's to those, both of those. And I'm going to carry on and do these ones. So direction. 2160, the component is that. Apply. So you can now see, hopefully, that all of those are now together. So what we also want to do is we want to do all of those at one motion. So if you go into animate, you can expand this here, and it basically gives you a timeline. So at the moment, if you just watch what it does, that, that one spins, then this one will spin, then this one will spin, then this one will spin, then they'll all move up. So we don't want it to do that. What we actually want it to do is do it all at once. So what you can do is you can highlight by holding shift, you can highlight all of them. By holding control, you can select them. Uh, just reset that a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of those items. I'm going to press group, and now you can see the sequence changed to one. So now if I press apply and then play, you see it does it all at once. Now from this view, you can't quite work it out. So if I just go underneath slightly, and where you can see the hex head inside there, I'll just zoom in as well, you'll be able to see that they are actually turning as well, if you see there. So it's just where the graphics card is slightly struggling there. So that is done now. Um, so just, there we go, just to show you. So we've done those now. Ooh, that's F6, so I should just reset my home view. So the next thing we're going to do, now we've um, taken all these bolts out, of course we can now move all of these components here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
basically pull up all of these items here and just leave this vertical cylinder in place. So what I'm going to do is tweak components again. Uh, the direction I'm just going to use this base plate and use Z. But the components I would like to take are quite a few actually. So I'm going to take all the pistons, I'm going to take the screw that's holding it all together, the horizontal cylinder, flywheel and web and the post. So basically everything here I'm now going to move up. So the direction is Z, so if I go back into direction and I can then whoops. I can then drag that up. So you can now see if I go say let's say 175. Now done that. Close that. So now you can see I've moved all of that up. So we've just pulled everything up because nothing attaching it. And I'm now going to move out the pistons. And I'm going to move out all of this, all in this direction here. And what I'm going to do is hopefully I'm going to miss everything so then I can bring these straight up. Okay. So tweak components again and direction. We're going to use this one. Components. I want to do it in the Z, so I'm going to pull these quite far, so we've still got the room to do everything else, so let's say 250, apply that. Now at the moment this piston's overlapping, so I'm just going to do one final tweak just to move that. So again I want to go in the X direction, and I just want to move it a little bit so they're not overlapping. So if you check the marking scheme you would lose marks if anything is overlapping, and even something as small as that you will lose marks for. So I'm going to apply, and then we're going to do this as a screw again. So we're going to do the same as we did before. So I'm going to tweak and the direction is two one sixty. Apply that, and pull that right out to there. And again, don't forget that we need to go into animate and add those two together. So we've got the M5 shoulder screw there. So these two, and I'll group that together. Right, cancel that. And then we're going to bring all three of these. In the Z so all the way up to there, apply that, and then we're going to do flywheel and web, just to make sure that that web isn't overlapping, and the final one we're going to do the actual flywheel itself and you've got to make sure that none of that's overlapping so I can see there so I'm going to escape and undo that um, so I'm going to basically I'm going to move this and the post in the same the same one so whoops so I'm going to move that so they're now not overlapping either And then we're going to move on to this item down here. So again, we're going to do tweak, and we're going to do this shoulder screw and direction again. animate and just join those two together again so group those two together apply that shut that one oops Tweak this final one. I'm just going to get it clear of the base plate, and then I'm just going to have to do one final one just to clear that. So you can see that's overlapping. So I'm now going to move everything else just up a little bit. So 
Block. I'm going to do that and group those two together as well so hopefully that will all look a little smoother when it's done so I'm going to apply that now just before we show you the setting up of the cameras um, I'm just going to just check that animation that everything's going at the same time so press play so you can see that's everything moving down hopefully the screw will spin at the same time yep so at the moment the repetition is set to 1, so if you want to speed that up, uh, sorry, the interval is set to 25, if you want to speed it up you can up that number. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as it is, so that one is spinning as well. And you can see all of these coming back together. And then they go in as well, so we're happy with that. So I'm just going to press cancel there. So we've got this now which has our exploded view. And what you can do is we can you can now take this is the view that will basically will appear on the drawing. So we can go and go through that, but that's in a separate video. So now I'm just going to go up here into this filter here and you can go to sequence view. And in your tasks, you've got task one, and you, this is basically everything that happens in your in your explosion. So if you go to sequence one, you can see that that's all of those bits moving. So what you can actually do is well, let's go into say this view here. Uh, if you go to edit sequence one. In here you can set the camera, and that's just by freely rotating to the area you want to be and then press set camera. So if I set camera now, and then apply, that's set the camera for, se for sequence 1. And if I go to sequence 2, which as you can see in here is the cylinder vert, which is this one here going back down. So we could say zoom in for that one, and then set the camera there. And apply. And if you wanted to see without going through and checking what it is here, you can just press play, and it will show you what it is you're watching. So camera I'm in now is actually okay for um, for sequence 3 so I'm just going to press set camera and apply and then sequence 4 is the flywheel room and post so again we need to go up a little bit and just press play just to make sure so that maybe I want to go up a bit there set camera just play that yeah happy with that Set camera, apply. Sequence 5. So that's the fly with web and rim going into here, so that's okay. Sequence 6, fly with web. And then let's see which one that is. It's all going across there. Again, I'm happy with the camera. If I just move it down slightly, it's coming out a little bit as well. Six, seven. This will all be okay for this now. Seven. And then that's the final one. So then we need to move back down to about here. Sequence ten. So we need to come out a little bit. The sequence 11 is obviously the screws underneath, so we're going to zoom in and we're just going to go underneath like this and set that camera and apply. And then if you hit OK, now if we check our animation, hopefully, everything will be going together. And you can see the camera is changing as per the set camera. So again, you can go through this and you can tweak it as much as you want. You can change the distances, you can change the camera, zoom in, you can zoom out, you can do all sorts of things. But to get the point, you have to show the whole thing exploding and collapsing. So after this is put back together, I'll show you how we do both of them. So at the moment, it's playing in reverse, so from the exploded state into the collapsed state. But what we're going to do is, when we press record in a second, we're going to do um, exploding and then collapsing, as that's what's asked of us. So there you go, you can see all of those going in. And there you have it, that's our completion of the exploded O engine. So if I 
what I'm going to do is just put that back into this view. So up here you've got the play and playback, so auto reverse especially does play and then plays it in reverse. Now if you click this button here and go to record, and we go into our file, so we need to go to desktop. In here is where we're going to save it, and of course we want an AVI file, which is what it asks for us, and then call it explosion. Save. So now, um, this is a compressor, so I'm sure that one's fine. When you can, you can change the quality. What I'm going to press is just press OK. So now when I press the next button, it's going to record the screen for me. Uh, I'm not going to video that whole thing, but then you just press or reverse, it will start recording, and it will save your AVI file. And that is how you make the exploded uh, and collapsing video.